Hello everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. My name's Tracy and uh, in this tutorial we're going to make this lacy scarf. Firstly, I want to apologise, I have tonsillitis, so if my voice sounds a bit odd, then that is why. It happened just after my live video. I started to get a little tickle the next day. Wasn't good. And today all I've done is really lay around and feel very sorry for myself. Um, starting to feel just a little bit better now, enough to, to try and make a tutorial. The, the proof of the pudding was if this makes it actually on YouTube or just gets completely discarded because I make a mess of it. So this lacy scarf is not overly uh, large stitches because I don't really like that. It's got a little uh, scallopy edge there you can see and it's made up of shells and posts. It's not difficult at all, it's good for the beginner and looks good enough for the advanced crocheter. This is absolutely lovely soft yarn. And for this tutorial, I'm using the King Cole Baby Glitz. I'm not sure if it's gonna be picked up in this light. There's a glitz, ah, there you go, glitz running through this yarn. Um, this colorway is called Silver. It's kind of a steely grey to me, but, you know, they call it silver. Now, this scarf, I've measured it, and I've done it 176 centimetres. And the reason mine is this length is because I sometimes like to wear it like this, and I pull it through, and then these are not overly long. Because if you're anything like me, the girls are big enough and... I don't like wads and wads of material padding my coat out and if I don't want to wear it like that and I do it wear it like this then it's thin enough again to be flat and not to pad my coat out because this yarn isn't the thickest DK weight yarn I know sometimes they come up thicker and sometimes they come up thinner but this one isn't overly thick none of the King Cole glitz are but this baby glitz is so soft. It's a 100 gram ball and there are 317 yards in there or 270 meters. It's 97% premium acrylic and 3% polyester. So it is extremely, extremely soft. And for this tutorial, I'm going to use a four millimeter crochet hook because I don't want long stitches. I get them caught on everything. You know, I end up with little bits of stitch hanging out that are never gonna go back in and look awful. So I like it to be nice and neat. So a four millimeter crochet hook, you'll need a darning needle and some handy scissors. So let's get on with it then. Okay, so um, here's my baby glitz yarn and my four millimeter crochet hook and my handy snippers. Now, as I said, I made that scarf 176 um, centimetres, but I had this much left over from my second ball. So if you wanted it longer, then you could make it longer. If you wanted it wider, likewise, there's enough wool to, to make it a little wider. So, first of all then, um, this, Oh, it's got caught my toe. <laughs> this um, is made using the slip knot, which you can do however you want. I'm sorry about this little light bit, but although it's really sunny, I couldn't leave natural light because it was making all weird shapes on my tabletop and you wouldn't have seen anything. So um, I make my slip knot like this, but I do have a tutorial on how to make the magic ring and a slip knot. Now this pattern, it's not difficult in the slightest. The only stitches that are in this um, scarf are treble crochet in UK terms, which is a double crochet in the US, a single crochet in the US, which is a double crochet in UK, chain and a slip stitch. That's as difficult as it gets. So um, it's made in multiples of six. So my scarf was six shells across. There were six shells, so that's six sixes of 36, and we need two chain for turning. So we need to make 38 chain, and to do that, it's yarn over and pull through, yarn over 
and pull through, yarn over and pull through. Now I'm going to speed up because um, that would take forever otherwise. And I'm not gonna count out loud because as you'll be counting as well, there's nothing worse than somebody putting you off. So I'll be silent until I've reached the end. Okay, so I have my 38, and if you don't, then please do pause the video and catch up. And let's pull out some yarn. It's getting stuck. Oh, it is stuck. Hold on just a moment, I need to free it. That was strange. Okay, so for this, the first row that we do are going to be double crochet in UK terms or single in the US. So we ignore the first chain, the, the loop on our hook doesn't count, and we skip the first one, and we're going to put our hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, two loops on a hook, yarn over, pull through two. Ooh, it's getting caught. So that's into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, two loops on a hook, yarn over and pull through both loops. Once more, into the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now I'm going to carry on all the way to the end and I'm gonna pause the video while I do that, otherwise um, it's gonna take forever. Um, so um, I'll meet you again at the end. Okay, so I've reached the end. Now some people are quite fussy about where they go into on their chain. Some people like to go into this this back bump here. I, I've never done it. Um, it's not something that bothers me. Some people like to go through two loops, but I just usually just go through the one, if I can get it in, that is. So just finish off, oh heavens, it's got stuck. Just finish off, honestly, my row. This is not boding well, is it? Now that one is the knot, I think. So just count my stitches just to make sure. If you're ever in doubt, then just count them. I'm going to pause the video while I count. That's fine. No, it was a stitch, so I've now done that. And so what we need to do, now we start the proper pattern. But we've now got a solid base of stitches to do that. So we do two chain to turn. And then we skip two stitches and in our third stitch we're going to make a shell. So we're going to do that by making uh, five treble crochets in the UK terms, that's um, a double crochet in the US, in that stitch, in that one stitch. So it's one, let's pull that aside and you can see it, two, So that is now our shell and we are going to skip two stitches and do a treble into there. So that's yarn over in, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. Now that is the pattern. That's the repeat. That's the shell pattern. So again, skip two and five shells or five treble crochets to make a shell into the next stitch. And that is as simple as this stitch gets. And then skip two and make our post. There's one, there's two. So we go into this stitch and make our post. And we keep doing that all the way along until we get to the end. And then, so I'm gonna pause the video and I will meet you at the end. 
So we keep going, shell, post, shell, post, skipping two stitches in between as we go. So here I am at the end now on my last shell. Oh, that's it. So I'm going to do my five trebles into this one here. And that's the fifth one. And then in the last stitch, we do our treble, our post. And then we turn our work. Let's pull out some yarn. So to turn our work, we simply do two chain, which is our post. And then the next round, row, sorry, it's not round, we go into the middle. So it's from skip two and into this one we do another shell. So we're going to do five treble crochets in that one stitch. I hope you can hear me okay, but I, as I have got this awful throat, so my voice is a little bit um, dodgy. But I'd been promising to do this and I I didn't want to put it off. So now we're going to do, sorry, I did, should have said, we're going to do one treble in our post. So we're just mirroring what's underneath, exactly. So we're gonna go into the center of this shell, which is this one, and do five treble. And then one into that single from the previous round, that single one. And so where you have a shell, you're doing a shell in the center. Where you have a post, you're making a post. And it's, that is the repeat. That is how simple this pattern is. So as long as you've mastered the treble, UK treble, which is a US double, then you are, jobs are good and isn't it really? You're cooking because that's basically all there is now until the end. So because this is going to be quite a long scarf, obviously I can't do everything in one. So this is part one. Part two, I will show you how I made my border. So we'll just keep going like this all the way until the scarf measures the length that you want. You don't have to be uh, have yours exactly the same as mine. Um, whether you like yours a little bit wider, as I said, you could have done an extra six stitches to make another shell or even less to make it uh, not so wide or longer, anything you want really, however you prefer. In fact, you could join it um, when you get to the end, join at the start and make it an infinity scarf or a cowl. But I think it might need to be a little bit wider for a cowl. So there we are again, coming to the end of this row. I keep, re I keep leaning on the yarn. Feels like I need to pull it out, but I don't. So we do our last shell for the row. Oh, that didn't go according to plan. My yarn split on me. It's a shame the sun was playing tricks with my tabletop because um, this is a lovely shiny yarn and I don't think it's coming over that shiny because of it. So now we need to find our second turning chain and just do our last treble into there. Turn our work. Oopsie two chain, turn, and again, a shell into the center. And we keep going in this way until you think it's done, until you're happy with the length. So I'll show you in a second. I don't, we haven't done that many rows, but you can see 
that it is actually looking quite quite lacy. I'm getting a bit of a knot there. It's annoying when that happens. But yeah, it's looking quite lacy and attractive. When you see the finished, I think this stitch makes it look a lot harder than it actually is. It's quite an easy quite an easy thing to do. So I'm going to leave this video here because you don't really need me to keep showing you how to make these shells. But that is basically it. Just keep going and going until it reaches the length that you want and then join me in part two and we will put the edge on and I'll show you how to square it off. So um, if you haven't already, um, please subscribe to my channel. It's down here somewhere, that little subscribe you do, Dad. Click on the notification bell and you'll get informed when there's new videos. Please check out all my other videos. I've got quite a lot of giveaways going on and they are well worth entering. There is uh, one of them pretty soon. When I hit the 2000, we'll have some of this uh, yarn in it as well as other glittery yarns because I think as it's 2000, it's going to be a glittery occasion. So we've got some um, nice glitzy yarns coming up in that one. So um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, until next time, bye for now.